Hey everyone, I am here today at Sally Antiques in Portsmouth where I used to work and used to, well, where I started with swords and today I'm doing something quite fun. This sword, it's an 1827-31 pattern, so the earliest type of 1827 that was modified or discontinued in 1831. This was actually retailed and potentially made in the ground floor of this shop which used to be, well half of it used to be the Sally Port Inn and then also it used to be Fisk of Portsmouth, a retailer and um, button maker. And this sword is actually quite fascinating because it has one of the chunkiest guards I have seen in a while. It is near perfect and hopefully that focuses. The lion is one of the fierce ones, not the ones that looks like a Yorkshire Terrier. And it's just wonderful. Oh. And the crown has been updated, so as you can see, hopefully, the crown has been riveted in rather than been um, moulded into the casting. The blade itself is wonderful. It is one of the incredibly fun prosa-type Yelman blades. Very broad compared to most, and a good fighting sword. The engravings are largely intact, if a little worn, but when I saw this I couldn't say no. The thing that makes it an 1827-31, as it is generally known by collectors, is this little loop here. The loop is for sword knots, and they were originally under the folding guard. And later on, this was added. Whereas most... 1827-31s, they have this removed, and it's, well, because on the hand, it may be seen as an encumbrance, but this one simply has had a hole bored through the guard for the sword knot, which is quite fun and a little bit unique. And this will now be hanging in the building where it was retailed in Old South Sea in Portsmouth, and it is... A wonderful bit of history reunited with its home. Hope you enjoyed and uh, like, follow, subscribe to Thierry the Sword Guy. Hopefully more content coming soon. I know I keep leaving gaps. I'm sorry. But yeah, more swords coming soon.